Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Tales of Asperia. Alright, it only took one more try to uh, get the secret mission that time. It's just knocking him over after he uses the thing, which, uh, the Mystic Arc, which, Art, which is not the easiest thing to do, I have found. Um, if you're behind him, his initial attacks won't hit, and it's just the, the big swirly circle thingy that does. Uh, but that's, I mean, that is still kind of painful. But, um, that does, it, it doesn't really, like, knock you down or stagger you much, so if you have enough hit points right before he does that, you can run in and, um, start using, um, things that knock him down. I did find that Lone Wolf Storm did seem to work pretty well at that. Um, not always, but sometimes. So, uh, I did, uh, I think that was pretty good. Uh, in terms of other ways to do it, um, the fact does recommend using uh, Rapid if you're having problems. Specifically, the uh, the thing that I used against um, Schwan, Raven, uh, Gale Dog, I think it was. The one that makes him invulnerable for a short period of time. You know, he won't take any damage from that Mystic Art, art and then uh, you can have him just run in and, and knock him down and stuff like that. So, uh, we did get another fairy ring. Uh, don't really want to swap off of the Sephira, although, since you are a... someone that I'm going to be playing for a bit, I could probably put the Sephira on someone else. So, let's go ahead and do that. I don't need to rest. I'm okay now, apparently. Of course, I don't have any uh, party members, and it is nighttime. Well, there's a kitty over there. No people. I don't need to save, because I just saved before all those scenes. Is there anyone here? Nope. There's no one around. Maybe they're all asleep. A dog named Meow is on the counter. He, uh, he does not look like he's on the counter, and... A dog named Meow, huh? Hey, you guys finally found me. Estelle? Repeat? Yuri! Well, it's just the two of you. Where's everyone else? <laughs> ah! Y you know he has a wound. Well, y you just ripped it open, and now it's uh, gushing blood all over his outfit. Ouch, hey, hold on a sec. Yuri! It's really you, right? You're not a ghost or something. Oh, good. You have a shadow. That uh, doesn't necessarily uh, indicate anything. Yeah, I'm living. And yeah, that hurts. Thank goodness. I'm so happy. Y you might want to heal him. Repeat just rushed out all of a sudden. I was so surprised. Rushed out where? Thanks. I'm fine now. Is that wound from when you fell from Zauda? It's from Sodia. Huh? Oh, yeah. I guess so. I can't tell you how happy I am. Sorry to make you worry. I can't tell you how happy I am to find you even though there's a an apocalypse monster coming to eat everything. I want to go tell everyone. They'll be so happy. What's everybody doing? Rita went to Zauda with Judith. She said there was a lot to study, being ancient ruins and all. That's Rita. Am I gonna have to put everyone, put the party back together again? How long has it been? Patty's helping out with repairs on the Fiertia too. Carol and Raven went back to Dongrest. It seems that relations between the Empire and the Guilds are worsening again. Oh yeah, you know, I mean, there's just like a, uh, a world devouring Autophagos coming. <laughs> yeah, let's have some petty politics here. To be fair, that's probably what would happen. Well, that, 
sort of is what's happening in the real world, what with climate change being completely ignored for the most part. And they're still like that? Supposedly it's because of Zaude. They went to make sure the guilds didn't do anything rash. First Heracles, then that. Guild or not, people are going to be on guard. It's troubling Yoder as well. And Flynn is being Flynn and going off to all corners of the world. Did he punish Sodia for stabbing his friend in the uh, side after he saved him? Everyone's working hard. They thought they should do what they can, even without you. I mean, we thought you were dead. You've been gone for, like, years. Yeah. Because we knew. We knew you were alive. Hmm. Even Flynn took ships out to look for you so many times. Seriously, how long has it been? I'm so sorry. But thanks to you, I'm all fixed up. You should still rest today. So I keep seeing that, that little pouch on the, the back of her outfit and thinking it's a bunny tail. So that, that makes the bunny ears even more perfect for this outfit. Rita, Carol, they can all wait a little longer to see you. I'm going to have you to myself for now. <laughs> As you wish. Yuri earned the Survivor title. Reunited with Estelle and Rapide. After Zaude. Estelle, Rapide, sorry to worry you. We were stuck on top of Zaude. We couldn't get down. But Flynn and all the rest of the knights managed to help us. Hell. Huh. Sounds like everyone had a pretty rough time. But we're all safe now. All of us. I'm so happy. The air crisis, Duke, the Autophagos. We still got a mountain of problems to deal with. How are we going to get everywhere now? Still no one around. Oh, I do see a person up there, so... Yuri, are you feeling down? I'm not scared at all. I know you'll take care of this, Yuri. The Knights are handling the capital security. We should be thankful they took charge. We're helpless without the barrier. Oh, so the barrier is still gone? Yuri, I knew it. I knew that could never happen to you. Your friend was saying such terrible things. Everyone was worried about you. Hurry up and go show Ted you're all right, won't you? Which friend is that? Estelle, I assume? The barrier looks like it's here. Alexei unleashed something terrible. I'm tired of all this freeing the world nonsense. Just what is the Autophagos? Who knows? A catastrophe. It can't be anything good. I mean, especially when, when Fagos is in the uh, name. That does mean eating. <sighs> Guess I get to fight a big one this time. It certainly is. So, you're going after it? It doesn't look like I'll have a normal life if I don't. A normal life. For everyone. That's why we fight. Yeah, that's enough, right? Yes, it is. I thought I heard a familiar voice. Oh, it's really you. Thanks, everybody. Seriously, how long has he been gone? Don't go taking that young lady around everywhere. She must be tired. What do you mean? Estelle, were you using your power? She fixed up every wounded person who came back. We're all in her debt. If there's anything else I can do, please let me know. Nice to see the lower quarters back to normal. I mean, the Autophagos is here, so, uh, does it really matter if she uses her power now? It'd be perfect if only that thing in the sky weren't there. Ah, uh, don't worry, I'll take care of it. Don't worry. Leave it to brave Vesperia. There you go again. And just how are you gonna close up that hole in the sky? Well, I have a giant needle and thread. 
Hey, if anyone can do it, Yuri can. Yeah, he never makes promises he can't keep. I'm I'm pretty sure he does, but everyone does. That's far enough. Now you, what do you want? Hi guys. <laughs> I say, take a look at this. Eh, it doesn't look anything like me. Huh? A warrant? For me? It doesn't even look like me. Just Yuri? I say a knight's duty is to apprehend the unlawful. So I'm the only one with a bounty on my head? Nobody else? Not Alexei, not Estelle, not Rita. That has nothing to do with the matter at hand. <clears throat> we have a proposal. Return to the knights, and this all goes away. Uh, so how long am I going to have to spend in jail? B m better, better hustle me on over there. What? Someone high up is making a fuss about leaving you to do as you please. So... You'd feel better putting the reins on me. Now you've got the idea. <sighs> D does he get a red shoulder custom? I mean, he's not Shiriko, but he can be close enough, I suppose. Hey, Swan! What? Where? Hey, wait! You guys are really, really bad at your job. So long, everyone. Take care! <laughs> Just as I thought. And I wouldn't have it any other way. I lived my life to chase after Yuri. I love that man so much. Let's go! Arrest that man! I mean, you guys can just admit it. <sighs> oh. Alright, it was uphill, I will grant you that, but it's not like it was all that far. They can still catch up. Admittedly, they are in heavy armor. This hill is pretty brutal. Those knights are amazing. They are tenacious. Yuri! I don't think they really have much else to live for. How did you- what? Whoa, Patty. Where did you come from? That's what I was about to ask. Seven seas. I knew you were still alive. I'm not sure this world has seven seas. Yep, still kicking. Somehow. Alive and kicking? That's a good song. I'd oh. recognize those high heeled sandals. Huh? Hey, Judith! Estelle, I just came to get you. Didn't take long to uh, get the party back together. Well, at least some of the ladies. Where's Rita? Rita's an Ospio putting together all of her research. You'll come too, right? Yeah, if you don't mind me catching a ride. Then let's go. Not even going to mention, oh, hey, it's so good to see you and we haven't seen you in X number of days. Sorry to make you worry, Judy. My heart was about to burst from worrying so much. I think she was kind of lying. There. Yeah, right. Hey, I really mean it. Wait! Not again. Just once. Just once I want to take it easy when I leave someplace. Uh... I mean, we've been to plenty of places that you've taken it easy as you leave. Come on, keep chasing. Goodbye, knights. Get back here! Damn it! why don't we have something like that? Reunite with Judith and Patty. Thinking too hard? You know, at first I wasn't comfortable with fighting, but recently I've gotten quite used to it. That's probably oh, not yeah? a good sign. Well, you have been fighting a lot, huh? It looks like you're still wasting energy with some unnecessary movements, though. I always try hard to think of what I should do next, but somehow I just can't get things right. Maybe you're thinking too hard? If you fought more on a gut level, your body might respond more fluidly. On a gut level? I see. So I just need to follow my instincts. You think maybe she misunderstood what we were saying? Maybe, but I think she'll figure things out. Alright, well, before we fly around, let's see if there's uh, anything new at the shop. I don't know if there is. There might be.
Hello. Thanks to that weird monster, supplies are selling like crazy. I don't know if I should be happy. Uh, let's get more uh, more of these things. I am I do not have enough money for one of the upcoming side quests. I uh, I can say that already. Um, let's get a couple more life bottles. More magic lenses. There we go. Hanuman staff. Nope. Nope. They don't actually have anything new. That is actually kind of surprising. And a real shame, actually. What am I using the onions in? Maybe it's a beef bowl. Oop. Mr. Potato. There we go. Synthesis. I'll look at synthesis later. I'll do that off screen. I have spent way too much time on screen. On that. All right. Okay, so we want to go to Ospio. Sounds like we got new uh, music out here. Can we actually get back onto? You know what? I'm gonna. I'm not gonna get onto it, but. Okay, no, we can't that way. Yeah, we can actually get back onto the Mobile Fortress Heracles. Yeah, it looks creepy. It's a little creepy up there. I'm just uh, looking around for some... Uh... Let's see, so we can get through there. That's blocked off. We're just looking around for any of the uh, um, the stumps or anything. Uh, I believe that we can go turn in another Giganto quest. So let's go ahead and do so. The Autophagos Awakens. Seeing the Autophagos just there in the sky, it's horrible. Yeah. To think that catastrophe from the legend was hidden up there all along. It's creepy. It just showed up in the sky out of nowhere. All the people must be so worried. Yeah, I'd rather see what like we're it. up against than let it grow out of control somewhere hidden away. Your spirit is amazing, Judith. It might be a good thing to have the danger right out in front of us, though. It'll bring together people who'd never get along otherwise. Mm. True. When you Maybe. can no longer deny the Autophagos exists, all that's left is to face it. You're right. Or run. Go ahead and rest. The weather may change if you stay at an inn, which can also change the types of monsters that appear. Some monsters that carry rare items only appear under certain weather conditions. Experiment a lot to see what you discover. Oh. That's new. Okay, I guess you're not gonna say anything about the Giganto Beast, huh? I am kind of surprised. Uh, how do I get back down? Fine, I'll fly. <laughs> Made me do this game. I'm glad they don't check me any, check my uh, papers anymore. Eureka! Oh, Rita, Yuri is. I don't think she cares. 
We're more invisible to her than a camouflaged cuttlefish. It seems like she's blind to everything but her research right now. I can't really blame the people here for treating her like such a weirdo. She looked so happy. She must have discovered something. I hope so. Let's go and see. Eh, she probably just, uh, perfected a, uh, a new recipe. Um, and I have completely forgotten to change slightly on Judith and get the tiny dragon. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I'll go with that for a little while. I do prefer the glasses. Patty's treasure hunt. I'm really glad to see you're still breathing, Yuri. Sorry that I made you look for so long. Well, How long was it? It wasn't my first treasure hunt, was it? Estelle was the first one who found him, though. Right. So, alas, we were delayed. Are you really treating me like some pretty bobble to be picked up? Yeah, sure, You're why not? the treasure I've always been looking for. Oh. Now that's true on multiple levels. <laughs> no special meaning. I mean what I said. Indeed. You are all treasures to me. And now we're off on another treasure hunt? Exactly. We'll have to be quick and be sure nobody gets to our loot before us. Aye. Yeah, no one no one else take uh, Rita into their party. Knock knock. Boo. Hmm. We should be able to calculate the force field stability coefficient. So, Rita? We can make a key formula. Efficiency is okay. Making a stable, non-dispersing piece should be... Hey, Rita! What? Don't bother me! Huh? Oh, it's you. How did you get into... Wait, you're... You're, uh, not... Not the quickest when you're studying, are you? Hi. Oh, she was you? happy. I looked all over for you, you know. Did you? Then why are you here? Uh, sorry about that. <sighs> well, whatever. I don't have time to argue about that. I have something very important to talk to Estelle about. Oh? To Estelle? I may have found a way to control the behavior of air. Really? That's great, Rita! I learned lots of things when I investigated Zaude. Like, how we might be able to apply the techniques used there. Again, how long was it? However... That is related to Estelle's power as a child of the full moon? We need to interact with the air to make it recombine freely according to a formula. This is something only Estelle can do. If only I hadn't given De Nomos back. Did you meet Duke? Yeah, he saved me. Well, he said it was so he could recover the sword. I mean, he could have just taken the sword and let you die, but... That sword's different from the Child of the Full Moon. I doubt it could be a substitute. But that control formula you used on Estelle, that was to control the power of the Child of the Full Moon, wasn't it? Yeah. So if we're going to control the air with this theory, we have to release the control formula on Estelle. That seems fine. So, if everything goes right, we control the air. But if we screw up... The air will get even worse, and the world will fall to the Autophagos. I don't see a problem here. Is that about right? That's quite a bold plan. Aye, it's a plan as bold as jellyfish stuck in shallow waters. What does that even mean? Uh, sure. <laughs> Let's go with that. Anyway. Good answer. Good answer, Rita. I'm sure it'll be fine. Estelle, believe me. Lend me your power. <sighs> Are you scared? No, I'm happy. I might still be able to use my power to help others. Rita, please let me know if there's anything I can do. So what exactly do we need to do? Well, I'm not completely finished working everything out. Give me a little more time. All right, we'll just uh, crash uh, down here, I guess. Okay, we'll go see Carol and Raven while you figure things out. Oh. Great. I'll go too. I've got all the materials I need in my head. I'll let you know when I work it all out. Um, okay? I mean... <laughs> all right, me hearties! Let's get going! Your mouth wasn't moving. Rita joined the party. Glad Yuri's safe, women. Huh? Ooh, 
If he was safe, the least oh. he could have done is let us know. That idiot. Yeah, if we'd known he was okay, we wouldn't have wasted all this time looking for him. <laughs> but we wouldn't have known he was all right if we hadn't looked. Ooh, which is why he should have let us know in the first place. I mean, we looked all over. We'd be too worried about him if we hadn't. You were really worried, weren't you, Rita? What? Thank goodness you're safe, Fury. Yes, I'm so glad. And just look how happy Rita is. Ha Are you happy? <sighs> <laughs> Alright, I assume there's going to be another one with uh, Carol, Raven, and uh, Flynn. Alright, so I'm going to I'm gonna check, but I uh, suspect that there isn't going to be anything new in the shop. Oh, right, I can't go that way. Yeah, nothing, nothing new in the shop whatsoever. <laughs> uh, I can't get some eggs, though. There have been so many earthquakes lately. Do you think there's a precursor to something worse? Eh, probably. Don't worry about it, though. Alright, so, um... We are going to want to go to... Dongress next. Get uh, Carol and Raven. I'll we'll have to go find Flynn somewhere. And then we have side quests. Lots and lots and lots and lots of side quests. <laughs> This is an interesting uh, mountain. I just realized. I think it's like the only one that's uh, that big in the game. All right. We also want to look for any seagull thingies, any stumps, anything else that we can uh, land to pick up things. Read his research. A method for controlling the air, huh? I hope it goes okay. Yeah. If it doesn't, we'll have to keep our end of the bargain with Pharaoh. <sighs> so shouldn't we stop it right away? There's no real hurry. I'm sure they'll do fine. <laughs> yeah, they can handle this. <laughs> I have faith in them now. <laughs> what now? Didn't before? There we go. Rabbit fur. Rabbit ears. Alright, don't really see too many others. I guess we'll just, uh, oh, 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 there's one. Shell, peep it eggs, total... Where's, where's that egg come from? Piney cone? Nope. Yep. Oh, it's not twilight over here anymore. It's nighttime. Does that mean there's going to be uh, new enemies also? I don't think those are new. Anyway, it is about time to end the episode, so when we come back next time, we will head into Dongress to see if we can uh, get Carol and Raven back in the party. Um, maybe have enough uh, new items that we can... Uh, new titles that we can go talk to that uh, bunny guild guy. And... let do lots of side quests. Because that's where we are with the game now. See you next time, everyone. Also, uh, for one of those, so real fast, the next step for the hot springs, uh, Yumanju, 
We need 30,000 gold and then 60,000 gold. So we need a total of 900,000 gold. It's going to be a little while. I might sell some items. But that will be later. See you next time, everyone.